ladies and gentlemen, presenting your musical guest for the evening, Drake and 21 Savage, performing a song off of one of the most relatable albums of all time, Her Loss. That was Michael B. Jordan in November being the faux SNL host for Drake and 21 Savage's faux SNL performance for their On BS music video. But there was no faking that Michael seemed to be alluding to his ex, Lori Harvey, in his throat to the guys. Well, flash forward two months, and Michael is the real host of Saturday Night Live this week, and he definitely referred to his ex, Lori Harvey. I went through my very first, pub my very first public breakup. Now, most people after a breakup are like, I'm gonna get in better shape. But I was already in Creed shape. <laughs> yeah, Michael and Lori broke up just as Michael finished directing and starring in Creed 3, which comes out in March. So I had to be like, all right, I guess I'll learn a new language. Anyway, estoy en Raya. Raya would be the exclusive dating app for celebrities. After the breakup, everyone thought I was so heartbroken because when the news came out, I was at a basketball game and they caught me looking like this. <laughs> yeah, so Michael's name actually trended on Twitter last year on June 5th as he sat in the Chase Center watching game two of the NBA Finals in San Francisco, and cameras caught him looking uh, kind of low energy, let's say, which Michael says wasn't the case at all. So there, Lori. Look, I was just chilling, but the internet decided that I, that was me being sad. But apparently those images haven't really stuck to Michael seven months later. Luckily for me, if you Google sad Michael Jordan, the first 8,000 results are this. <laughs> Michael had a big smile on his face backstage after his monologue, so he was feeling good. And yeah, he did a great job. SNL even captured footage of him right before he walked out on stage to deliver his monologue. And your host, Michael B. Jordan. I was gonna say I was surprised that he brought up his breakup, but they were pretty public with their relationship. It was prior to his relationship with Lori that Michael was much more guarded about his personal life. But yeah, what'd you think? of Michael bringing up the heartbreak seven months later. This is an incredible experience. There's nothing like it in the world. And I, I can't wait to come back and do it again. Go ahead, man. What you got? Yeah, I ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing? 